All right, continuing in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 5. This is what Yahweh says. Cries of fear are heard. Terror, not peace. So now let's read about the lying prophet. In Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 10. Then I said, Alas, sovereign Yahweh, how completely you have deceived this people. And Yahweh them by saying, You will have peace when the sword is at our throats. That's the time that you're living in. And see that? You want to know why the priests and the prophets and the officials are all going to be astonished and ashamed? Well, let's read this next scripture first. At that time, this people and Yerushalayim will be told a scorching wind from the barren heights in the desert blows towards my people, but not one to winnow or cleanse. We're going to talk about that scorching wind in a second. A wind too strong for that comes from me. Now I pronounce my judgment against them. Why? Because over and over and over and throughout the years, some of you out there took me for a game. You mocked me. Throughout my time of learning the things that I had to know in order to do the things that I'm doing now. You despised me. You thought that the Most High was going to forget about me. You thought the things that I have been trying to warn you about was just me acting a, a fool on here. Some of you think that I have mental issues everything that the most tell you how was said that his suffering servant would be going through when you read about that is pertaining to me and the things that you all have said and done throughout the years to me i'm not talking about these brothers who are in these hebrew israelite camps that are manipulated and brainwashed i'm talking about the powerful, the people who had the power to try to ruin my life, the people who had the power to try to put hexes on my life and try to X me out. This is why this is coming to you. This is why this day has been prepared and reserved just for you so that you may know and you may understand the power of God and you may understand how real how real who you call God is when these things happen to you for not believing Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 12 again a wind too strong for that comes from me now I pronounce my judgment against them let's go ahead and show you that the scorching wind is Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump is the eagle that is hovering over the house of the Most High. Let's go ahead and show you this. In Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 19. Like a lion coming up from Jordan's thickets to a rich pasture land. See that? The Most High is making a comparison and who can challenge me and what shepherd can stand against me therefore hear what Yahweh has planned you see that hear what Yahweh has planned against Edom what he has purpose against those who live in Teman the young of the flock will be dragged away their pasture will be appalled at their fate. You see that? You see why? The Most High Yahweh says, A oh, wind too strong for that comes from me, I will pronounce my judgment against them, against all these nations who hate the Most High, who hate His people. Hell, even the people of the Most High who hate the Most High and His people. See that? Oh, you don't believe me? That's fine. Let's read it. 
Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 8 Remember this is Yerushalayim's final warning Take warning Yerushalayim or I will turn away from you and make your land desolate so that no one lives in it Let them glean the remnant of Yasharal as thoroughly as a vine pass your hand over the branches again like one gathering grapes See that the final warning the final gathering and before I read this scripture here I just want to say that I'm not an angry person like I said before but we're gonna show you how real this is you see because I can't make this up this is who I am some people may feel like I'm always angry oh why he's always yelling in his video he's so loud he's so obnoxious he's so annoying well Isaiah 30 and 27 see the name of Yahweh comes from afar with burning anger and dense clouds of smoke his lips are full of what of wrath you see that okay for those of you who do not know me these are your days you're gonna start to know me the Most High Yahweh spoke all about me in the scriptures he told you the times that we will be living in it's just that you don't believe it because you are in denial which is fine it's okay you're gonna get over that in the future you're gonna see how real this has been all along and then it says here that his tongue is a what a consuming fire okay that's the reason why people will be burnt with the words of the Most High it doesn't matter how skilled they think they are but they have not been revealed the things that the Most High Yahweh has revealed to me and in due time I will share it when the Most High Yahweh allows me to share it see that Ezekiel chapter 5 verse 1 now son of man take a sharp sword and use it as a barber's razor to shave your head and your beard that's why we read in Jeremiah 6 and 9 let them glean the remnant of Yasharel as thoroughly as a vine pass your hand over the branches again like one gathering grape so look what it says here then take a set of scales and divide up the hair you see that that's the times that we're living in oh by the way I didn't even tell you I don't have long hair no more yeah I cut my hair I cut my hair coincidentally can you believe that hmm but no I mean you know to you people you wouldn't see it you wouldn't understand these things because I'm just a joke I'm not real I'm just somebody that wants to be somebody in your eyes so now son of man take a sharp sword and use it as a barber's razor to shave your head and your beard and take a set of scales and divide up the hair oh and by the way the reason why I cut my hair off if you want to know that's because I got scammed by a Philistine you know what I mean so I had to cut off that evil I had to cut off the wickedness I'm just playing around I didn't get scammed by no Philistine but a Philistine did scam uh, Samson and he lost his hair okay which is a total different story but it's basically a, a, a symbol of cutting things off so that's why the most high made Ezekiel cut off his hair and shave his beard all right you got to cut things off so that new things can grow right Ezekiel 5 and 2 when the days of your siege come to an end burn a third of the hair inside the city take a third and strike it with the sword all around the city and scatter a third to the wind for I will pursue them with drawn sword okay so that's pretty much what it represented the times that we were going to be living in now when the Most High Yahweh raises up Mr. Trump to be the modern day Nebuchadnezzar and so Isaiah 41 and 15 says see I will make you into a threshing sledge new and sharp with many teeth you will thresh the mountains and crush them and reduce the hills to chaff it's talking about that one third that remains those who have been made refined 
okay those who have cut things off and you know started to grow new things in their minds that's what it's talking about we will be the ones to what to level down the mountains again what are you mighty mountain before Zerubbabel you will be what level ground okay Azizel you mountain climber we will bring you down it says here you will winnow them the wind will pick them up and a gale will blow them away but what will happen to the sincere brothers and sisters the elect in Yahweh you will rejoice in Yahweh and glory in the Holy One of Yasharal. So again, you don't have to believe me. You know, continue to confuse yourself. Continue to think that I'm lying to you all you want. But this is the end result. Okay, this is what's coming up for those that believe. While the rest of the world is going to be going through hell. And they will be going through hell, believe it or not. And I'm not saying that we are to be rejoicing in their fall. Don't get it mixed up. That's why the scripture specifically says you will be rejoicing in Yahweh. Because there's a scripture that tells you that you should not be rejoicing in the enemy's downfall. And believe it or not, you're going to have to guard yourself. You're going to have to practice this because you're going to be seeing your enemy's downfall. So do not let your heart rejoice. Because why? Because you have to ultimately remember that the Most High is punishing these people. It is not for you to laugh. See why I told you the other day that the things that are going to be going on, it's not going to be, you know, for you to be taken lightly. It's not going to be a walk in the park. It's so that all humans, all mankind may know that there is a God and he is serious about his uh, honesty, serious about his authority, his loyalty, all of these things. You will recognize as a mortal being and you will respect the living God, the creator. That's why you should not rejoice in your enemy's fall, but rather rejoice in your creator, the most high and glory in the Holy One of Yasharel. This is why the most high, how he dwells with the oppressed, the brokenhearted. Because why? The poor and needy search for water, but there is none. Is this talking about real water, physical water? It's talking about wisdom. This is why people are left in the dark. This is why all they can say is, well, praise Jeebus. Don't worry about that, brother. We'll all be saved. But there is none. Their tongues, right? Their language. Because what I just mentioned, that's their tongue. That's their language. Their language is that their Jesus Christos, their Lord and Savior, is going to come to save them. All right, they're waiting for uh for a rapture to happen. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I can pull this up, but I just heard about this recently. I just heard about this today. I don't know how true it is. Now, this here where I got it from, it says Uzi landed a spaceship UFO in New York City. But they had like this uh, UFO hologram hovering around New York City today or yesterday. So let's go ahead and take a look. see that so I just wanted you to know that's what's going on okay they already got the holograms these people are already astonished amazed what is that yo see that the youth are gonna get it first this is what they want they want to get the bodies of the youth they want to get the bodies of you people who are religious and, you know, you're hell-bent and, and, and filled of adrenaline because you're Bible thumpers and you're ready to die for what you believe in. That's the kind of energy they want, of course. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 5. I looked, but there was no one to help. See that? Just like now. The Most High looked at the future. He looked into the generations why do you think all this had to be done because you have a look but there was no one to help 
I was appalled that no one gave support. So my own arm achieved salvation for me. And my own wrath sustained me. See that? My own wrath sustained me. Just like we read. His lips are full of wrath. So, you can think I'm a mad person all you want. But this is just who I am.